In my last travel video, I had just caught the ferry from Labrador and was on my return trip down the west coast of Newfoundland. A little bit of a tilt, but it's still a slice of heaven. As this was just an overnight stopover, I wasted no time in exploring the shoreline. Mother Earth is such a wonder. This is just so beautiful. And I've got to add, I found this myself. I didn't consult any guide. I certainly did not use an app. I used my own gut instincts as to what might be a good place to camp, and it paid off. Far too many people, when they travel, they rely on an app, which takes all the adventure out of it. You're traveling as somebody else did before you. It's nice to just do it yourself, get creative, take a few little risks, and you can get rewarded with a place like this. I hope it's not on any app. I'm not going to put it there.
just as the day was ready to end, a dramatic transition took place. Early the next morning, I continued my travels down south. Although I was in a bit of a hurry, I did at least make one stop at Arches Provincial Park. It's always a shame when you feel compelled to rush, as you miss so much. And this is especially true regarding Newfoundland's little coastal communities that are well worth exploring. Well, I'm back in Gross Morn Park. I wanted to give it a second chance on my way back, but this time I'm at a different campsite. This is the Lamond campsite, which is uh, on the other side of the bay, and uh, pretty well the same. It's got a little bit more space, price is the same, facilities are the same, but there's more attractions on this side that I wanted to look at. Like, for example, today I'm going to Tablelands, do a little hike there, and uh, we'll see. Beautiful day, sunny, and uh, hopefully it's sunny enough I can dry my old hiking boots out. I got another pair so I can still hike. The Le Mans campground is about 20 minutes from the South Park entrance. My hike for the day was only another 20 minutes west on Highway 431, which goes through the cute little town of Woody Point. The south part of Gros Morn is quite different to the north section, especially these barren stretches of mountain almost completely void of trees. Well, this is Tablelands. Let's check it out. Well, the trail's pretty easy. It just goes up a little bit at the beginning, but uh, kind of flattens out pretty quickly. I think it's about a two hour walk or hike. Uh, you stay on the trail, you wander off, who knows? Although most of the trail is wide and easily managed, the section through the bogs also has a boardwalk where you may spot a pitcher plant. When they said it was a two hour trail, I didn't realize that was just for just average people walking. It wasn't for hikers because, uh, yeah, I made it here in about half an hour. I was wondering, well, this is it. I mean, it's beautiful, but uh, hey, take your time. Don't rush, enjoy the scenery, look at the geology.
Tablelands is a rockhound's paradise, as the ancient movement of tectonic plates has pushed the Earth's mantle to the surface, after which Ice Age glaciers further carved the valley. This left a layer of metamorphic rocks from under the Earth's crust exposed for all to explore. Of particular interest to me were the ancient rocks found along this stream, as their surface resembled dinosaur skin. However, they were actually called serpentine. So Tablelands isn't about a nice, strenuous hike up the mountains. It's about getting intimate with rocks. Rock on. As fascinating and beautiful as the rocks are, Tablelands is also colored by the flora of a tough environment Their delicate hues are there to complement their ancient partners. Well, it turns out I actually did spend two hours there. So the trail marker was right. But it's time to head back to camp for a little rest. There's a beautiful birch right behind me. I don't see many of them here. Lots of uh, fur and Tamarack. I like birch. It was a good hike today. It wasn't a long hike, but uh, I enjoyed it. Saw lots of neat things. And um, I'm not leaving the island yet. I still am going to be going about tomorrow. I've got uh, one place I want to go. However, this is probably my last campsite on the island. And there's this one thing I haven't done this whole trip, and I think everybody knows what it is. That particular sound, sound of joy, sound of happiness, the sound of a beer. And this is Black Horse Newfoundland beer. 5% alcohol, premium lager. Hmm, not bad. Pretty good. 
I couldn't leave Newfoundland without having a Newfoundland beer. I, you know, people, that would be an insult. I'm not gonna have the screech, thank you. I'm, I'm just not into that, but Nippy beer? Absolutely, sorry, Newfoundlander. I don't think they want that other word. That's an N word, you know? Newfoundlander beer. Cheers. The next morning, I trekked across a meadow. Well, this is Western Brook Pond. Although to me, it looks more like a lake. Gross Morn's iconic landmark is a snake-like channel of water through narrow rocky cliffs. It's a three kilometer one-way hike to the water's edge where a reserved tour boat awaits to escort you into the valley. Over there are the boats that go into the fjords, I guess you call them. Now there is a little bit of a wind kicking up right now. I got a feeling I'm gonna see more of that wind in the days to follow. This is a very popular tour, so book early. And availability is also dependent on weather. I know some prefer natural sounds, but the wind and the passenger noise was quite loud, so I hope you'll forgive me for a little musical passage instead.
great way to end gross morning. Beautiful scenery. Take a boat ride. It's worth it. I'm glad I took a second trip to Gross Morn, and it is certainly worth several more days to fully appreciate. But I really must be traveling onward, so back to camp I went. Well, it's my last day in Gross Morn National Park, and uh, I am totally aware of what's coming up in the next few days. Uh, thanks to all my viewers, uh, but I have been monitoring the weather and I do know that Hurricane Fiona is coming up the Eastern Atlantic and uh, it's headed right for Atlantic Canada. Well, the rain has started and uh, I don't think it's gonna end for quite some time. I hope you'll join me for the next video where I conclude my Atlantic travels in a very unique way.